Well, the latest trend on YouTube seems to be uh, the Japanese polishing balls of aluminum foil into perfectly round spheres. I guess there's worse things you could waste your time on. Hey, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. The idea of shooting a compressed aluminum foil slug um, has been suggested to me many times. Now, the density of aluminum is not very high. These balls weigh approximately a quarter of an ounce, but they are very well compressed. I actually hammered on them and did all that mumbo jumbo to them just to make them as uh, compact and hard and round as possible. Okay, let's get out there and shoot them. Welcome back, Top Flader folks. Jeff and the OG out here. Beautiful California day again, just prior to a rain, so we thought we'd shoot out here real quick and try out a little, uh, little test for you. This idea came to us from another famous YouTuber. You might have known, you might already subscribe to uh, Christian Joy Weiss's channel. Kirsten. Kirsten, Kirsten. <laughs> She shoots really, really well. She uh, shoots a lot. I've watched her 22 uh, videos. Uh, she's almost as hot as the OG when she's shooting. But so go go over and check her channel out. But her suggestion was she's watching all these YouTube videos of all this compacted and polished aluminum foil that seems to be the rage these days. So uh, her suggestion: why not try to make a slug out of compacted uh, aluminum foil? So. Jeff uh, designed these slugs for you. They're very, very light. We're going to see what they do against a couple of different targets out here. And uh, it's all for you, for science. And we want to thank Kentucky Ballistics, too. Let's not forget them. Cool. I'll Kentucky. put a link to them in the description. He has a really good... Um, here goes the... Oh, those are the new ones. Those you don't see very often. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But Kentucky Ballistics did a, a really good experiment I'd like to share with everybody using Tim Hamilton's brass pellet. Very good testing with that. Two liter bottle of sugary beverage. It's <laughs> not real orange juice? No. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, the white label. Oh! Might have been a little close. Thought about that, yeah. <laughs> too late. All right, here comes the aluminum foil ball, and look how accurate that thing was. It was awesome. And what's really neat is some of the layers of the aluminum foil actually peeled away, kind of like an onion. Very cool. Okay, a small block of ballistic gel. It'll be interesting to see what the aluminum foil <laughs> ball will do to that, you know? It'll shred inside there, or what? Isn't it al aluminium? Aluminium foil, yes. That's what the kids are calling it these days. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a lot of aluminum, conf aluminum confetti. Yeah. Well, this one was not as accurate, but at least he hit the block. And again, the layers of aluminum foil were peeling away before and even after it passed through the ballistic gel. That's cool. There you go. Okay, there's the impact. Went through and there's pieces of aluminum foil in there. Surgeon's nightmare. The aluminum plate. <laughs> Must have 30 of these things or so. Yeah, there's so many of them. I think they're reproducing in the bed of your truck. I think they are. But uh, aluminum on aluminum action here. Uh-oh. Yeah. That sounds a little, I think that's illegal in a few states, isn't it? Only in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> He's, where, what are you aiming for? Um, I was going to go for that green triangle right in the center. Okay. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready. I'll be damned. Wow. Right through it. You hear that? See? Yeah. I Not the, bad at all. I hope the freeway four miles behind there is safe. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so uh, we're both kind of shocked to find that this thing went right through. Aluminum on aluminum crime. <laughs> Aluminium. 
And the cool thing was it hit the sticker. You can actually see where the sticker lines up perfectly with the shape of the hole. That's not nuts. But um, I'm really surprised they didn't. They, they A, they held together. B, the they were accurate, you know, functional. What are you doing? Well, I think it's <laughs> obligatory. <laughs> it's got to go in the compilation that, video. That's so people can... Uh, Get an idea how big the hole is, okay? Yeah, exactly. Dang it. It's some kind it of reference. For, um, it was for gauging. It's even, even though your fingers are like four times bigger than a <laughs> normal person's. Well. This is really interesting because we didn't think the uh, aluminum foil ball would have enough mass to blow a hole through that cast aluminum plate. Not only did it do that, but it was very accurate too. We've, we've shot factory ammo that wasn't that accurate, folks. <laughs> Okay, clay block. Whenever you're ready. Oh! Wow. That one was gone. I thought you open. Look at that thing. I think it had a little more power than I expected. Yeah. Yeah, you know, all these little aluminum balls and stuff. Yeah. When your aluminum balls are laying all over the place. Yeah, that's that's interesting. It's like a robot problem. And we thought people would like to see the the big old clay block being shot. We just didn't expect it to blow it apart so efficiently. Look at the size of the cavity that thing made. You could stick your head through that hole. We want to thank our viewers for this wonderful idea and Kirsten Joy Weiss for sending me this idea just 24 hours ago. Thanks for watching.